Retail AI just came out with a brand new tool called Batch Calling. Now, this is a tool that I haven't really seen on any other AI dialer out there. This tool allows you to upload your leads directly to Retail and schedule them when to be called. And the nice thing is, Retail makes sure that you're never reaching their concurrency limit. Their concurrency limit is 20 calls at a time. So with batch calling, you will never hit the concurrency limit because retail software will make sure that you won't hit that limit. So let me show you how you're able to use batch calling to your advantage and what use cases I would say to use it in. So let's get into it. Here is retail AI. Here's my test account. Basically, what you're going to want to do is add a phone number over here and just connect your phone number and add your SAP trunk over here. Then what you're going to do is come to agents. Make sure that you have an agent that you're ready to start batch calling with. If you don't have an agent, come here to create an agent. Either use a single prompt agent or a multi prompt agent. Once you have all of that set, come here to knowledge base. Over here in Knowledge Base, you're able to upload your website and they will update every 12 hours. You're also able to add multiple different types of websites. You're able to basically add a web page. So basically when you come over here to web page, you're able to directly connect your Google Docs so you don't have to download that Google Docs and we upload it every time you update it. It will just update directly through here if that link is accessible to anyone to view. When you want to connect your knowledge base to your agent, you come back here to agent, you come here to single prompt knowledge base, add, and then click test. And as you're able to see, the calls get a tiny bit more expensive because we're adding a knowledge base. But the nice thing about retail is you're able to have as long as a prompt as you want without the agent getting more expensive. I always recommend keeping the AI at GPT 4.0 because that's the cheapest model and using Kate because that's one of the best voices. For my use case, we're just only going to use English, but you're also able to have a multilingual agent that can talk in English or Spanish. And now if we go back, we can come all the way back here to batch calling. And then we can create a batch call over here, just like that. So just click create batch call. It's going to ask to label this. So basically what it's going to ask us to do is going to label this. So we're just going to label this test Emmanuel. We don't have a number connected to this account, so we're not going to use a number. I'm just going to show you how you're able to create this. It's going to ask us to upload a CSV. If you don't know how it wants the information, we're able to open this template and come over here. And then this is basically how they want the calls looking like. Very simple phone number, dynamic variable. Let's just make all of this bigger dynamic variable. So this is going to be name and, and last name if you want to, or just first name. And then you're able to have last name or you're able to add their address. For example, you only need their phone number, but if you want to address that person in a more personal way, I would recommend also adding their name over here. What we're going to do is we're going to create a fake list in ChatGPT. And we're just going to upload it over here. Now that we're in ChatGPT, we are going to use ChatGPT 01. And we are going to tell it basically create us a lead list with fake numbers and fake names. So as you're able to see, we got all the names and all the numbers. So that's basically all we need to make this work. We're just going to copy this and put all the numbers over here. And we're going to make an extra space over here to just put phone number. Retail template. And then over here, we are going to put number. And then we are going to put name. And then we are scroll down a bit copy their name and then we are just going to paste it all here and as you're able to see everything matches up this is just a test account with with 621 different names and numbers we're just going to delete the rest now if you were to do this and actually try calling these numbers that would be highly illegal because that's basically spam calling um, so I don't recommend doing that. I recommend only calling leads that give you permission to call them. That goes against the retail terms of service too. So I highly don't recommend doing that. So we are just also going to name this Google sheet 
test one. And then we are just gonna download this into a CSV. Once this is downloaded, we will go back to retail, upload this over here. As you're able to see, phone numbers on the left, names on the right. And we're able to schedule this. We're able to select the date when these people are called. And then we are able to apply that. Assuming every single call length is five minutes long, take 155 minutes. That's around two to three hours. So we're able to save this as a draft and we're just able to start calling these leads if we want to, but we're not going to do that because that is illegal. Now, the other thing is for creating batch calls, it will cost half a cent per dial. Another fee will incur because of this ease of use. As you're able to see, it's very simple to create a batch call. Now, if you want to be able to call more leads faster and do all of that, you're able to come here to purchase more concurrency. You're able to come to limits and you're able to adjust your limit and you increase it to a hundred if you want to. And then now your limit for calls is a hundred. This would cost you 640 bucks a month, but now you're able to call way more people at a faster rate. This really depends on your use case. I would say 20 is enough. Most softwares only provide 10. If you want a bit more, you're able to pay 80 bucks a month more to get 10 more concurrency limits. I know they're trying to bring the concurrency limit costs down, but this is cheaper than most platforms. For example, Vapi costs $10 per extra concurrency line and retail costs only $8. And the nice thing about retail is you get 20 concurrency calls instead of 10 with Vapi. So yeah, that's basically how you're able to batch call all the leads that you want very simply and qualify all of your leads. Now, if you want to implement an AI dialer into your business like retail, I would recommend booking a call at Simpano.com where I'm able to help you implement an AI dialer into your business and basically save you $4,000 a month for paying for a call center. We're able to bring this cost down to anywhere from 800 to 1600 bucks a month from just calling your leads, which is a massive cost saver. And if you have hundreds of thousands of leads, this is a no brainer. So if you want to implement this in your business, feel free to book a call at Zimpano.com. And if you want to be caught up on the most recent AI news, feel free to join my telegram or my email list. Link is in the description. Same with my website. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.